But incidentally, um, Corvin is the only person I've ever met who's been to two universities and gained a grand total of zero degrees. Um, so, so naturally, we're all a bit worried about him, you know, being a uni dropout. We wonder, where, where, where's his future lie? Where does it? We didn't need to worry about it for too long. Because after a few weeks, as you already mentioned, he got a super glamorous job in our local pizza. <laughs> but um, ironically, that is where the fairy tale began for this delicious man. It was, it was, it was, it was. Because I remember him coming around one day and telling me about a girl he met at work. He really fancied. Who, who is this, honey? She worked as a waitress, uh, but Corvinda worked in a kitchen. So you could say it was like a modern day Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> uh, Lucy, you look incredible. And right now, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. But the truth is, I've been feeling like that ever since we first met working at Pizza Hut. <laughs> and suddenly found myself making pizzas with jalapenos in a heart shape for the pretty girl I called, uh, worked with called Lucy. He told me, and I quote, She's really buff, bruv. <laughs> but he persuaded me to come in the following week to take a look at her. Literally come in and take a look at her. In exchange for a free pizza. Pepperoni. He had his pepperoni pizzas on lock. Big things. Absolutely big things. And it turned out she was, in fact, well buff, bruv. Absolutely delicious. There she is right there. Absolutely true. Um, and all at the time she was a bit of a, a brummy rude girl. She had a cracking personality. So I'm sure Corvinda had no chance for her. But somehow he managed to woo her. And I don't know if it was pizza making skills or his um, 500 pound Ford Fiesta with 1,000 pound alloy wheels. <laughs> or the crippling desperation in his eyes. But he did something right and he's continued to do something right ever since. And because of that they become an amazing couple who are absolutely perfect for each other. Right from the beginning, I knew Lucy was special and this was different. And I was right. I had never before met anyone who had such a deep love for travelling and beaches, but also found domestic chores and technology equally as baffling. But when you're hopelessly in love, nothing seems more pointless than doing the dishes, and Lucy is hopelessly in love. <laughs> but over those first weeks and months, I came to discover that Lucy isn't just beautiful, she is just also the most caring, thoughtful and kind person I've ever met. She has an energy and enthusiasm for life that is completely infectious. There's no mystery as to why she plays an important part in so many people's lives and is genuinely loved by so many friends. She is simply a very special person. I always knew Lucy was the one I wanted to share my life with. She simply makes my life complete. And I am a happier and far better person for having her in it. Us being together is the most important, fulfilling and joyful thing I could ever have imagined. So when it came to the proposal, I knew that it had to be something special. And what I didn't realise is how special things can get when you plan a late night proposal in Florence. Only to share the Ponte Vecchio bridge with a local guy who's carrying a table and decides to stop and have a rest in the middle of the bridge. <laughs> Which then means I have to keep glancing at him to get him to move, whilst at the same time Lucy, who's getting colder and more tired at the minute, that night on the bridge, Lucy, when the guy at the table eventually went and you said yes, was the happiest day of my life. Because in that moment, I knew the most special person I'd ever met was going to be part of my life forever.